I was just doing homework in my study room and all of a sudden I hear people like yelling call 911 and it was, the paramedics arrived like two minutes later they were working on her it didn't work they couldn't do it five minutes later she's on the way to the ER okay guys so this vlog it's gonna be kind of kind of it's kind of sad it yeah just I don't even know what to say like this is just crazy so basically um, I'll tell the story. I'll tell the story. No, but I was looking for you. So I'll our tell sister. Story. Okay, I'll hey, tell some no. of it. Okay, you tell well, some I'll of start it. and then I'll pass it to you. Okay. Okay. So basically, Isabel is looking on Pinterest and she's found the story where this baby got her. She got something in her. She got like something wrapped around her toes really yeah. tightly. So we were like, oh, that's strange. And they were like, make sure you check your kids to make I sure was the only one who this doesn't that, happen. I didn't tell anyone. I didn't know about this. Like we I had no like, idea that the this story exists. and I went past it. So basically today we were just like, my mom was just looking at Hannah's toes. That wasn't me. Oh, I was holding Hannah okay. by okay. myself. <laughs> well, basically they were looking at her toes and we noticed that their piece of hair was I, wrapped. I know. <laughs> Isn't all noticed that a piece of hair was wrapped yeah. really tightly around one of and her toes. And so my mom was doing laundry, so I like yelled to my mom and told her about that because I was like, remember that story? I was like, oh no, that's not good. Yeah. So the hair was wrapped around all like four, four toes. Her toes. So my mom got off like three of them, but then when she was getting them off, her pinky got getting tighter and tighter, mm -hmm. and so it started bleeding and it got really tight. So our like main, she was, yeah, she was screaming. She was screaming basically, yeah. and so we called nine one one and the paramedics arrived, and basically it's wrapped so tightly where they had like some like they brought like supplies like the fire a fire engine came mm -hmm. and stuff. And they brought like so we'll input like pictures because I was taking pictures of oh, some were? of this. Yeah. Okay. So basically, the, they came and they said that they don't have the supplies necessary for taking it off. Meanwhile, Hannah's absolutely screaming yeah, like it's super I think their traumatic. Stuff was too big, so they couldn't get. Yeah, it. their stuff was not precise <laughs> enough to cut you off. Really even see it? That was so deep. It's into, like, so the skin. yeah. It's like deep into the skin. It's like it was her skin was covering like that piece of hair. Yes. Yeah, so the, basically, like, then we didn't know what to do. So the the paramedics told us to take her to urgent care, but the closest one is in Mequon, so we were like, we can't wait that long. Mm -hmm. So we took her to the chill. Not we. My parents are actually still <laughs> yeah. there right now. And I have to say something. I didn't film like the beginning of this. We didn't film this. So, it was like, like really traumatic. We wanted to make sure she was to be like okay. So we didn't film in the moment. We filmed. Yeah, it, it was, was just it kind was of. Really it was stressful. really stressful in the moment. Yeah. So we didn't film it, and so basically, she's in the. She went to the ER like couple hours ago yeah. and we just heard back from our mom and they thought they got it off she stopped crying at least which was good and she fell asleep for a little which is good but they're pretty sure they got it off they're pretty sure they got it off but they yeah. don't know so basically they are in the er and they had a surgeon come look and he doesn't know if it's off all the way so she actually has to have surgery which is Insane. Yeah, I like, don't know what surgery they would do. I don't know what surgery and they're they gonna have do. Cut like her toe. A yeah. Bit to be able to get it off. So it's we kind don't of have that much information. It's kind of a mess right now. So I'm really gonna just walk past. So yeah. I got super duper quiet. We'll definitely, <laughs> we'll definitely like update you guys. But right now, it's just kind of like everything's a blur. It's just. Like we literally, I was just doing homework in my study room, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden I hear people like yelling, "Call 911!" And it was just yeah, it was. I thought she was choking really on the hair. That's what I thought, but she was like screaming, so I was like, "She can obviously breathe." And then I realized it was wrapped around her toe, and like, I I I was reading into this later, and I was like, sometimes you have to like get your toe like cut off because or of the surgery, circulation. You have to amputate your toe. Yeah. I so I was like, oh gosh, oh. this is really bad. So my mom was very concerned so they took her to the ER and then at least she like qu calmed down a little bit because mm -hmm. she was screaming and she does not scream guys yeah it was bad it was like, scary she was the whole time the paramedics were here mm -hmm. but they, it was so sad because they couldn't do anything mm -mm. so like my mom I think she got like Epsom salt and put in water my mom and was just the trying there like she they was were soaking, soaking her foot. it and then they also See? like put like oil on it trying to get it off it's, I think, I never looked at it because I was just, I didn't want it to. It was pretty bad. I didn't want to look at it. I was, like, too scared to look at it. Yeah. But it was just a f literal, like, blur now. And it's, it was crazy. Like, they, we found out that it happened. The paramedics arrived, like, two minutes later. They were working on her. It didn't work. They couldn't do it. Five mm -hmm. minutes later, she's on the way to the ER. And yeah. they've been there for probably, like, three hours now. Yeah, it was really scary. So, yeah, this is real life, guys. I just, like. We haven't been vlogging as much because, like, things haven't happened as recently, but we wanted to kind of, like, update you guys not only to, like, 
just talk about it but like also if you guys have baby siblings always like, make sure to check we never knew it, this yeah. like this is something super serious and i feel like we should have known this after like so many kids but Wait, yeah. i feel I like it's just this before not but a thing. when the, hannah she wears like onesies with like her foot is like in her clothes or whatever yeah. she doesn't wear like shortless uh short short things what's it called pantless, she's pantless like she, she wears like full body yeah. suit things and so we never checked mm -hmm. to make sure it's like no like threads yeah the word, threads. oh it was a thread I no it, it wasn't hair. hair but oh. threads can also be like as dangerous too yeah and so when well, my mom so. just changed her today into like a pantless like a, outfit no it's like a onesie but her legs were out like yeah. it wasn't in there but and the, and the craziest thing is that if i wouldn't have seen that story like i would just That's try crazy. to get it off myself but i think she said like don't try to like get no, it so the that's why thing that's crazy is that like you literally like if this happens like i've seen stories where people like don't realize it because it's a piece of hair like you can't like just like see it you're not looking for it so the thing that like made me so like surprised was that the fact that you actually saw that story yeah. a month ago and then looked for it today i was like looking for it but i was like looking at her feet and then i noticed it that's crazy it was like completely wrapped around pretty tight that's at horrible. first before my mom even tried to get it off it's horrible so, so basically long story long. short today that was our day today i literally like haven't really done school today because i'm just kind of like i don't think i've done school we're like since. overwhelmed but also we're going to okay basically our, our house, house is a mess we want to show you our house no we do not want to no. show but, but okay wait <laughs> let me just preface this there are seven kids in this house and my mom has a baby so like it gets messy it happens it's so isabel and i are going to try to clean up before because she hasn't even gone into surgery yet and so it'll probably take a while guys let's it, this is just real life like things like this happen well things like this don't actually happen that often well, i feel yeah, like yeah, but, they do, but it's pretty common yeah like so basically that was our traumatic experience of the day and we are gonna update you guys later that was we talked for a really long yeah time. i think it's like <laughs> you'll probably like to get some of that oh but anyway uh we will update you guys when she gets home i think she'll probably go into surgery i think in 30 minutes i think Maybe. But my, the surgeon who's doing the surgery is like performing another surgery we will update you guys wish us luck or not us wish hannah luck because yeah. it's crazy my mom is texting um, they cut the top and bottom of toe to the bone. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like, that's so sad. We oh just gosh. Out, guys. My mom just texted and she said she hopes she doesn't pass out too because she has not eaten anything and yeah. my mom's in there. Because like just seeing like her child like that that's in horrible. that state. Like that's my mom really was sad. so sad. It was, it, was yeah. so, it was so scary guys. Like we don't really, I don't think we've. We've we, called 911, yeah, like, like it's maybe sort of like choking, but like not. Oh, yeah, like, we've called 911. Honestly, we funny called story, guys. That funny with story. Isabel. She, I was, like, like she I thought I was choking on popcorn, but I really wasn't. But, yeah, like, so we called 911. I think that was the only other time. Oh, I think they called 911. Oh, yeah, I ate, ate glue once. I ate chapstick too, so I think <laughs> we, we had to really call like the poison control. Yeah. But we, this like doesn't happen typically. Okay. And yeah. like, we, she had another surgery that was on her like tongue, but like that was like planned. Like we knew that was gonna happen. Oh, and are you sad? Yeah, you want your sissy home? Yeah, we all want her home. I just like was looking. My mom sent me pictures. I'm gonna uh, like put or Isabel will I'll when insert, she edits this. Pictures. Um, of her in her hospital gown, Actually, and it yeah. made my heart hurt. Okay, guys, update. Isabel and I cleaned. You can see. Yeah, except the mops in the background. There's a mop, but it's definitely well, it's, trick shot. Yeah. That's it's a trick shot setup. It it's cleaner than it was, but we just got a text and we actually decided not to do the surgery because I don't think we really wanted Hannah to go under general anesthesia right yeah. now. So we were like, we'll just wait it out and we hopefully, like, we'll just have to watch her, her. Yeah, really because carefully. like the the reason they're doing the surgery is to make sure like the hair isn't there. I think. Mhm. Mm I don't know if it's I anything. So. I don't really know much. Like we aren't at the emergency room, so we don't really know as much. But we'll tell you if that's wrong later. But hey, they're waiting to be discharged right now and come home. Um. So, at least like I'm glad she didn't have surgery. But like on the other hand, like I also am, like she may have to go back to the hospital. Yeah, I hope that she doesn't have to go back if it does get worse. But they can't see a hair like tied around it so we're assuming it's gone hopefully but we never saw it like 
leave. Yeah. So, like, we don't know. It could be, like, really dug into her skin. So, crossing our fingers that it's not like that. But we'll show you what she looks like when we get back. Or when they get back. Poor baby. Poor baby. She has had a lot in two months of her own life. Three. Wait, three. Almost four. Almost four. Dang, she's old. Well, <laughs> that's the update. Okay, guys. Hannah is home. And she's sleeping right now. You can't really see her foot now. But we ended up not doing the surgery. So we still have to keep an eye on her for like 24 hours. I think it is. This is Hannah day two. Let's look at her toe. Where is it? Oh, you can't even see it. Oh, there's her toe. How do you feel today, Hannah? Baby, you're doing dirty day. Baby. Baby, you look down at the camera. Baby. All right, everyone. I am going to film the outro for this video today. And it is a few weeks after Hannah went to the ER and everything. And so she's doing so much better. It's healing really well. So I just wanted to give that update. Also, she ended up not having to go in for surgery. And we think it is completely off. Well, we're pretty sure now because it's healing really well. And in the next video, I will show Hannah's foot and what it looks like and how's it, how it's healing. And the next vlog. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Probably be coming in a few days. But other than that, I'm going to end the video here. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And thank you for watching. Bye. Also, if you're still watching this video, a sneak peek into the next video. It is going to be something so amazing, a big announcement. So, stay tuned.